Werner, um, there's been much improvement with the Bulls scrimmaging, uh, obviously, the last thumbsuck few months, and especially in this season as well. However, everybody has been saying that, uh, said that with right as well. This, the, the, the Stormers have a very good effective scrum. That's the first part of the of, of uh, the, the set pieces, um, line, line outs obviously, and whatever goes on down line outs as well. But just uh, you're, you're scrimmaging. How much, how much more can you do to improve what you what you're doing with the Bulls at the moment? I think obviously time. You know, time is is a uh, is a big thing in in sport, and you only get you know your certain amount of time. I mean, so and then rightfully so, like you say, first of all on Stormers, you know, they quality outfit and, you know, it starts up front, line out, scrums, malls. Um, they do everything well and they do all their basics well. So it's obviously a massive challenge for us on the weekend, um, you know, for us to get to get our mall and our scrum right. Um, you know, I think last time in Cape Town we went pretty well against them. Um, you know, but it's like you say, it's a learning school and I think possibly the one thing at the moment with our scrum is the inconsistency from time to time we go well for two or three weeks and then drop off a little bit so yeah so obviously you know players don't need any any additional hype for a north south derby and especially it's one of the games where it's probably the most tickets that's been sold in you know how many how many seasons so no i think everyone's looking forward to it just a follow on that um you've, you've made mention of the fact that players for some kind of reason drop on the quality of especially scrimmaging. Is it a question of losing con uh, c concentration or, or what, what's missing? Because you, have, you do have the quality. You do have mm. the know-how. The players, obviously, you can't teach them anything more except just owning their skills. I think, as, as well, if you look at the age demographics, you know, especially up front, um, compared to a, a full-strength um, Stormers team, you know, we, we're still very young, so that's obviously going to come you know, with the learning curves and, you know, but, that, but that's the thing. We got to, you know, it's a, it's a professional league, it's a professional competition. We got to take that learnings and, you know, we got to learn quickly and you got to learn in a deep end. And that, that's the only way you're really going to learn and test your skills and, and know wh what your shortcomings are. So, but again, like you say, um, you know, started the first URC season, I think we were 12 and we were pretty much bottom of the log in terms of scrum. So at, at least there's been a big improvement on that side. But I mean, it's, like I said, professional sport, you're always going to have some work ons in, in any area of, of the game. Last one, follow up on that. Um, speaking of, uh, especially international competition, <coughs> European competition, what have you taken from that? Because the pundits there would, uh, would, would, would make a general comment and say South Africa has added to the, to the quality of, of United Rugby Championship as, as well as the other competitions that, that, that we run there. Um, is, is, is there something that you that you that you can take and that you can bring in and, and add to that to that the value, especially the younger guys that you're talking about? I think definitely. I think you know, championship is another step up. Um, you know, from URC, it's a step up. You know, almost a step closer to Test rugby. So you know, it's it's an unbelievable experience, and you know, to to put our guys out there, and obviously the learnings they'll get from those games would just be. You know, accelerating everything we're trying to do and then trying to achieve. So no, I think the one thing just in on a championship, you know, it, it's tough for uh, you know to play away and you you got a one week turnaround in terms of being home and away and the weather the difference. You know, just in terms of December, especially in their winter and our summer. So there's obviously a couple of learnings we got to take in mind and and moving forward. I think all the South African teams have you know done exceptionally well in the in a championship. And obviously, we'll hopeful, hopefully still improve on that and going forward, hopefully even be a bigger force as South African rugby. Well, what makes the Stormer Scrum such a difficult prospect? Because I think regardless of who they have, I mean, I remember even before um, the Sharks game, there was a conversation over the changed, um, all the different personnel that they had. But they are different personnel, but the results just seem to be the same. I think it's um, it's it's obviously a lot of confidence. They they got confidence in their scrum and they backed their scrum. And I think, you know, one thing like one player can't scrum another team. It's the unit. And when the unit is functioning well, you know, everything just seems to roll. You know, with that momentum. So, 
I think as a, as a forward unit and as a team, you know, they've been going very well the entire season. And how key is it for forwards to manage emotions, physicality in in games of high pressure stakes? I mean, as a player, you would have been on the better side of results against the Stormers, but as <clears throat> we've seen that things change at a professional level, and 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 forward play is also as we also saw in the Six Nations this uh, this past weekend. It's a game of very fine margins. Yeah, I think um, you know there's, there's that fine line between balancing that aggression and getting your accuracy right. Um, if you take an example, in you know, like you mentioned, the Six Nations that that France started getting the the card early on. So there's a fine line between really coming out with loads of aggression, but you need to get it right with the execution and not to put your team under pressure there. And how can we be managing um, the same piece? weekend because one day there's still the conversation about conditions um, I mean Chris did make a very good point it, 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 it's a known unknown at the moment mm. it could be sunny but the pitch could still be wet there mm. could be rain so, um, so um, how, how 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 tricky would it be just to to keep um, this thing to prepare for such a day prepare for an opposition that that really puts all, all the all of its cards in its words with the, with the good back line yeah, it's like you say, no one's going to know how much rain is still going to fall the rest of the week. I think it's like you say, regardless, if it even if it dries up now, it's all Saturday, the pitch is still going to be wet. There was too much too much rain and too much water coming down, you know, to, to completely dry it up. I think, you know, the fortunate thing about that is it's, it's going to be a, a battle up front. Everyone's got the same, you know, conditions. It's going to be a little bit slippery, a little bit wet on the foot for, for both sides. So... I think it's going to come down to the team that that obviously is going to handle that conditions the best on the day, reg regardless of what conditions we actually get on Saturday. Is going to you know going to use that conditions and you know manage it the best on the day. Um, uh, the Stormers scrum, um, uh, even without the Springboks, they showed against the Sharks that they still have a very powerful unit and can get, earn penalties. We know with you guys, you've had some uh, really great games, but others where uh, the the whistle was just against you. Uh, what are you expecting on Saturday? I see Maris on the best season is a referee. No, I think, um, you know, North-South derby is always going to be physical and it's always going to start up front. So, um, you know, we're under no illusions that it's going to be a tough, um, tough task up front. Um, and like you said, you know, it doesn't matter what personnel the Stormers at the moment put out. Their scrum is functioning really well as a, as a unit and as a pack. So, um, you know, it's a big challenge for us. And obviously, you know, in derbies like that, it, it's going to come down to fine margins and we need our set piece to function and to work well. Better, um, in some games, you guys have really had the upper hand over the opposition in terms of the physicality and that. And, and I know perhaps it's difficult away from home sometimes to do that. How big a factor will, will Loftus be in terms of getting that momentum because you want to attack with your backs, but you first need to win the ball. Hmm. Yeah, it's. Um, I think first of all, everyone's excited to be back at Loftus. I think you know we've only had, um, you know, the one game in January and pretty much one game in, in December at home. So you know it's exciting to be back at home and you know to play in front of a Loftus. You know that's that's selling out pretty pretty quickly. So you know that, so everyone's excited to to play at home and yeah, it's it's always going to be tough. And you know, like you said, we some games we scrummed well and a little bit inconsistent in others, but um. You know, this is one weekend where we really need to, to focus and to make sure that it is functioning well. Vander and Jan, uh, thanks for chatting us. Uh, oh, just yeah. a follow-up on that. Mm. Um, obviously, uh, we, we've seen all the reports uh, about the weather and that. So obviously, you guys have been training a bit in, in those conditions. Uh, what are the adjustments you have to make, uh, uh, given I mean, you guys uh, probably experienced some of that overseas? What are the adjustments you have to make, uh, especially in the scrums and then obviously in your general set pieces, when you play in such uh, wet conditions and, and, and wet underfoot? I think, um, you know, set piece wise, scrum wise, you obviously got to make sure that your feet are underneath you a little bit and, you know, you, you must make sure that the gap is not too big. You know, the bigger, the more movement there is, the more chance of, you know, someone slipping and, and the scrum going down. And I think that's pretty much the same in, in general play as well, you know. In those type of conditions, you're not going to be able to throw 20, 30 meter passes. So everything tightens up a little bit if it's that wet. Um, but that's, that's still a very, a very unknown for us at the moment. Like now, it's, um, it's nice and sunny and fairly hot outside. But then it, there has been loads of loads of rain and it's been pretty wet over the last, let's say, five or six days.
So yeah, it is. I, I would say pretty much everything just tightens up a little bit. You know, make sure, and especially from a set piece point of view, as less movement as possible. Um, you know, to to try and keep your feet on the floor. I know the breakdown is not your area of expertise, but in conditions like this, obviously you, you spoke about being tighter and closer together. Uh, do, do you tend to flood, for lack of a better word, flood the breakdown a bit more with bodies, or do you just still carry on playing in normal style? No, I think I think the key thing is regardless of the weather and and whatever is going on for any team, you know, just to just to stick to their structures and not not to go out of structure and not to go, you know, try and chase something different. So. I think we've pre prepared well so far this week. Um, obviously, it's still early on in the week, but um, you know, I think the, the better we, we get our system working on the day, you know, the better it will be for us. Hi, Werner. Hi, Steven. No, no, no complaints. Thanks. Um, Werner, um, as you look at the West and Kaapstad, Prairie um, Research Soon, and the first half there, the Prairie Kicker, like of your own civil physics. Je weet bij die kitaar we gaan slaan en en net na na rust heb je zo een paar opstoppers. Je weet net van een gedreven wat uit de arie bent dat je de zijlijn van die met maar die willen op een manier toch zelf te trouwen uit haar wedstrijd en die opstoppen gaat je eindelijk fysies. Je weet redelijk goed gevaren en 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 tot op een punt waar je weer steeds zo'n zo'n op paar spreekwoordige oog je weet net net van een geswaaid. Ja, Steven, ek sal dink, jy weet, ons het ons het baie self trouw uit al game uit gevat, jy, ons het baie dinge reg gedoen, en natuurlijk, aan die ander kant is baie dinge verkeerd gedoen, ek dink, soos jy sê, die 5 na 10 minute, daar net na halftijd, waar hy drie van een gedreeg gedruk het, het die wind uit ons seil uit gevat, en ek dit, en ek meen enige span, wat drie, drie afstaan, en so kort tykje gaan, gaan sikkel om terug te kom daar natuurlijk, so, Ons het hard gekyk na die oomlikke en natuurlijk gaan ons ons best doen om te verhoed dat daar alweer so 5 tot 10 minute in die wedstrijd is, so ons laat ons plan en dat allemaal degelijk die plan verstaan wat elkeen sy rol is binnen in die plan. En as ek recht moet uit julle eindelijk ook goed gevaar in die skrams in die wedstrijd, teen, jy weet, teen springbokke in die voorheid. Ja, ek dink, ek dink, jy weet, soos ek sê, as mens terugdink na die wedstrijd toe, was, as kan mens iets, was daar nie set piece, van toe daar scrums of mols of iets, van toe daar vinger gewees was nie, ek dink, het was meer net ons, die verskil in die game was, was die, die laps en concentratie vir ons net gewees, daar net na halftijd, en vooral met die twee afskoppe, wat hulle, jy weet, basically van, van soos af geskoor het onmiddellik, so dit het ons onder, onder huge pressure gesit, in, in die specifieke game. En waar word gemaakt van die stormerse onlangse rekord in julle, die hier wennen in die rij nou, is dit motivering vir julle, of nie rechtig nie? Ach kijk, ek denk, dit is, natuurlijk wil hy ou, as hy ou uitgaan op die veld, vooral in die noordzijde, daar by wil hy ou natuurlijk wen, ek denk, dit is nie ons focus nie, ek denk, soos ek vroeger ook gesê het, ons focus, ons het ons gameplan, wat ons uiteengesit het vir die week, en dinge wat ons wil bereik, En ek dink, het is vir ons om binnen in die structuur te bly en, en, jy weet nie, goed is buiten, goed wat ons nie kan beheer nie, ons kan, ons kan glad nie beheer wat in die vorige wedstrijde gebeur het nie, maar ons kan beheer wat, wat ons doen, saterdag op die veld.